In this presentation, I'll walk you through how you can use hybrid connection using Azure Web Apps. So hybrid connection is a solution which Microsoft came up for use cases where you have your data sources or the APIs which are sitting behind the corporate firewall or the corporate network and you want to implement your web application or web solutions on Azure Web Apps and want to access the data sources which are available inside your corporate network. So, so this is a use case which I have tried to put together and what I'm trying to show over here is on the right hand side I have an enterprise, uh, enterprise uh, implementation. We have an enterprise which has a single VM or it can be a couple of VMs and we have deployed a couple of APIs on, on those VMs. And uh, and just for uh, just for demonstration purposes, I have shown that these this particular VM has a public endpoint, which is 4126203101, and it also has like the, the local host access as well on the APIs. Now, if we look at the uh, at the other side, we have a web app. So web app is uh, publicly hosted on the internet uh, in Azure. So if I try to access this particular API using 4126233101 uh, port 5000, 5, then what will happen is I will be able to access it because it's publicly accessible. But in an enterprise scenario, this will not be a valid use case because uh, enterprise, they won't let uh, you open public endpoints on a VM because that basically brings in a hole on the security. So ideally what you will be allowed on the enterprise uh, enterprise side is something like a local host 5000 where you can access the API within the network. Now the, the problem statement is, is quite straightforward and uh, the, the solution is like how exactly can we access this local host 5000 uh, endpoint. So what we have is uh, a hybrid connection manager which Microsoft has provided and, and that, that helps you in uh, making this local host 5000 request from a web app. I'll walk you through that in the next slide. Now in this slide I have shown the same thing. So for 4126233 the public endpoint is as is, you can access it. But when you talk about the local host, you bring in this hybrid connection manager which you install in your enterprise network and once you install it over there, it basically makes a connectivity back to the web app uh, hybrid connection uh, setup which you will do on the web application side and i'll i'll put i'll show that in the demo as well so once you have installed the hybrid connection and you have set up your hybrid connection configuration on the web app side uh, what will be uh, what will happen is the local host uh, when you make when the web application will make a local host 5000 request the request will not go uh, to the internal local host on which the web application is deployed. The web application internally, if you look at it, it's just like a IS application which is running on one of the VMs in Azure managed and controlled by um, Microsoft. Now, if you write a local host, it basically will understand that yeah, you want to access a resource which is there on the machine in, in the Microsoft uh, VM. But when you but when you install hybrid connection and you set up your connectivity and you configure the web app for the hybrid connection, then in that case that local host will be, make a request to this hybrid connection endpoint, and then hybrid connection will then look into inside the corporate network where it can find that local host 5000 endpoint, and then it will help you out in in making access to the API. Fundamentally, if we talk very detailed, this hybrid connection is a sort of a uh, sort of a service which you install on the VM. So when the request comes in as localhost, then the, the the VM basically serves that localhost request and it looks for something locally on the VM itself. So let's now jump on the demo side of things. So I'll just give you a quick walkthrough. The VM which I was referring to is this one where I have this 4126233101 IP and then I have this local IP as well, which is uh, 10.0.0.5, which in our case we will refer to as localhost. This public IP is not a valid scenario for enterprise situation, but just for demonstration purposes, I will put it so that I can show you that yeah, if uh, the public endpoint is accessible through without the hybrid connection, but localhost is not. Now, on the other side, um, I'll show you the VM. So this is the VM which I have set up and uh, I have this IS which I have configured and there is a web application hybrid connection API which I have set up on this particular uh, VM. 
And if I run this API, uh, if you can see 4126 to 3101, and if I run that on the VM, I can get the response back. This API is a simple, nothing much uh, interesting on this. If I make a try request, I get two response message, service, uh, server message one, server message two. On the hind side, if I use this localhost 5000 uh, and, I, and I make a request to that, again, I get served because it's running on the local machine and I get my responses back. Now, if we go back, um, so on the Azure portal, I have created a web app. So it's uh, just a vanilla web app. It has nothing very interesting in this, uh, uh, and uh, it's running under the app service plan. So uh, yeah, again, app service plan is a regular app service plan. I, uh, it's just a standard uh, uh, S1 plan, and uh, this is the web app. So what I've done is I have just uh, deployed a similar sort of code. So as you can see on the on the server, we have this uh, web app, uh, this uh, API application, and the name is server API, which I've have deployed over here. On the on the hybrid connection uh, web app, I have deployed another API, which is called the client API. So I'll just quickly show you the code base for this as well. So this is a simple Visual Studio .NET, uh, .NET Web API, which I've created, API client and API server. On the client side, we have a couple of endpoints, but on the server, we have this one, as I showed you, that this one, server message one, server message two. Now, the client side is a bit more interesting because I have a controller, and what I've done is I have a default get, which I normally, which I present that, yeah, it, it returns what are the endpoints available for the public API and, and the private API. And then we have a public API endpoint, which we, uh, which will basically do a HTTP uh, client request, and it will try to access the server using this particular uh, public endpoint. So it will try to access the server APIs, which we have over here using the 4126.233.101 endpoint. Now we will have a private API as well in this uh, controller, and this private API is the interesting one because it runs on localhost 5000. So that's the simple code base. Now what I've done is I'll just reopen that and I can and I'll browse this. So if I browse this, you can see I have a client application. If I open this, I have a public API, private API, and API client. So if I run that, it should show me 4126.233 is the public endpoint, which we have for the first get method. And that's the local of 5000, which is the second get method. Now what I'll do is I'll try to make the public API request, and hopefully I should get a response back. So I'm getting this message 1.2, which is coming from the server. Now, if I make a private request, it's going to make a localhost request and it shows that it's an uh, error has occurred while sending the request. And that's very logical because this is running on Azure uh, websites.net, which is a public endpoint. And the localhost is very specific local on the VM, which this particular public endpoint doesn't know where to go and get from. So the next steps are we will, we will basically install the hybrid connection manager so let's let's close this and uh, okay so let's go in the network so if you go inside the inside the menu blade for uh, web apps you can see we have a networking option and inside the networking option you can see we have hybrid connections so once you click on this, it will basically navigate to you to a hybrid connection uh, interface. Now, over here, you have an option to download, which I have already downloaded. It's a uh, MSI. Once you download that, it will be available locally on your machine. So I've already downloaded that, and then I have copied it over here on my VM4126 to 33101. What I'll do is I'll just run this MSI so that I install it, and I'll install that. Right, so it's quite quick, it got installed, and then I'll just close that. And if I come back over here, and if I look in the menu options, I can see I have a hybrid connection. And as you can see, this hybrid connection has an interface where you uh, where you will be able to set up uh, the configuration. As I said, you need to connect this hybrid connection manager to your web app hybrid connection manager, which we will set up over here. 
So what you need to do is, uh, oh, sorry, I did click. So what you need to do is you need to put the configuration details about your hybrid connection manager over here. So once you do that, it will ask you to uh, create a new hybrid connection option. So once you create that, you can put any name as you want. So we'll create a uh, name of enterprise. Uh, yeah, so this is a very important one. Now, what you'll be putting over here is the uh, is the endpoint host of the of the location which you're trying to access. So in our case, what we are trying to access is this particular local host 5000 endpoint. So what we will be doing is we will be taking this and we will, we need to put it over there. In in your case, you can put your server name or whatever it is. You need to put the local uh, access uh, details about whatever you're trying to access, whatever this host you're trying to access. Now the port is 5000 for us, and the we'll create in Australia East, and the name can be HC um, Hybrid Connection Manager for Enterprise Connectivity. And as soon as we do this, uh, we say OK. Uh, in the background, what it has triggered is uh, it has started creating a service bus relay. Now, service bus relay is a total, uh, yeah, it's a great technology and, and all the hybrid scenarios and all the hybrid options which you'll see in Azure, they run through the service bus relay. Now, I'll do a separate session on what these hybrid uh, service bus relays are, but in a nutshell, what you can understand is these are like uh, services which run inside your network. So what what we did was when we installed this hybrid connection manager over here, it basically installed a service on the machine, and that service basically makes an outbound communication, uh, outbound connectivity to our web app um, through the relay. So the relay is the service bus relay through which this connectivity happens. But for now, you can understand that the service uh, basically a relay is created inside the azure environment i'll just show you in a quick that particular relay instance should be created over here if you can see it's still trying to complete that particular request what is it's doing in the background is it's trying to create a relay so okay now now you can see over here we have these this is a relay a service bus relay which is the heart of our hybrid connectivity so the web application makes a request to this relay and the relay then makes a request to this particular hybrid connection manager on the on the remote VM. So if we go inside this and if we try to see what are the what are the hybrid connections available at this stage it should show zero because we do not have any. Now listeners over here. Now what we will do is we'll come over here and we will say we will try to configure this. So what it will ask for is your credentials. So it will ask you the details about uh, whatever subscription you use to set up that relay on the on the portal. So I'll just put in my details over here. Yep, so I've chucked in my credentials. Hopefully, it should uh, log me in. Mostly, it lasts for the ping as well. Yep. So, yep, so I've got the ping. It's 206. Yep, so now, yep, so now it should connect me to my subscription and as soon as it does that it should be able to view the relay available yeah it's just running in the background all this validating all the subscriptions now if i come over here i have two subscription i'll use the visual studio premium msdn subscription and yep there it is the enterprise api access that's the that's the hybrid connection which we did set up on our side and the service name is hcm-ec. Endpoint is localhost 5000, all good. I'll save that. As soon as I save that, the place where we saw a zero listener, hopefully it should see uh, a listener over there. So if we just refresh this, 
go back over here and if we refresh this you can see we have one listener over here so now our hybrid connection uh, through the relay is working fine now if I come back to my web app and if I go inside the network option and if I go to configurations so if you can see over here we have status as connected so our hybrid connection uh, manager is now connected to our particular web app so you can also see connection use is one connection code are like by default they have a code of like 25 connections which you can set up with your particular web app so it means like you can uh, set up 25 hybrid connection managers at different locations and you can make different connectivities so now uh, now yep so we'll go back to our web apps and just to be sure i'll just open the app again i'll come back to my web app i'll browse the web app yep so it has opened if i come back again if i click this i should get my both the ip address uh, both the endpoints yep and if i go to public it should still work fine it gives me the responses that's good and now the truth to check so let's get the private api call and if you see it's beautiful it's coming back as service server message one and two so it look up it just confirms that yes using this particular uh, localhost 5000 api server endpoint i'm able to access uh, the, the resources and I'm able to access it through my Azure uh, web app, which is running on a public endpoint of Azure websites.net. So that's that's a, that's a quite uh, easy and straightforward implementation. So you can see it's it's quite simple. You don't need to do much. It's all about just slight configuration. Now, just uh, another scenario, if this would not be an API and a database, you will have to set up an endpoint for your server name colon 1433, that's the port which SQL instance uses, or if you're using any other database, you'll have to uh, associate the endpoint accordingly. So it works seamless with all sort of connections, whether you want to do it with uh, MySQL or any other data sources. So yeah, I, I believe it would be really uh, good if you can, um, yeah, have a have a play around with this, and it's really really great, uh, a great uh, architecture and great uh, component which can uh, leverage the hybrid integration scenario, and you can use your enterprise resources without getting restricted. So yeah, uh, and this is the heart of the entire uh, hybrid connectivity. So it's the service bus relay. I'll do a separate uh, session on this, and I'll walk you through on that. Hope you uh, liked this particular uh, session. Uh, please.